Hello, and thanks for visiting our Office 365 Tips and Tricks uh, video library. In today's video, we're going to show you how to take full advantage of the page template features of OneNote. This is a really nice feature to help you provide uh, more consistency in uh, tracking notes for, uh, say, uh, recurring meetings and other types of uh, uh, recurring uh, documents that you want to capture. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so I'm in a notebook that uh, we actually use on a uh, regular basis here at CPA Crossings. You'll see the title of the notebook is Internal Operations Notebook. If you're not real familiar with OneNote, just realize you can have as many notebooks as you choose. And within a notebook, you organize by sections. So in this particular section, we call it our Monday team meeting, because every Monday, uh, the team of us here at CPA Crossings, we, we get together, have a phone uh, online meeting uh, to discuss important issues. We have a standing agenda. And that's the main point here. It's, it's, a, it's a standing agenda. So I, I created a template uh, for this section so that every time we're ready to have uh, the next week's meeting, we just open up the template and it's all uh, you know, pretty well formatted for the people to populate their notes. And the way we go about it is uh, uh, everyone on the call is responsible for providing some level of information or input to the meeting. So they kind of everyone has their own section. And uh, so that brings another feature in that you can share access to, to notebooks. So that way, we'll, and we'll talk about that in one of our other videos. But you'll notice here, um, so this is uh, from a meeting on um, April 30th, 2018. Let me go and just click the Add Page button here off to the right to add a new page. And notice it's a little subtle, but notice it's a meeting agenda notes with the, with the date not filled in. So this is the template. And if I scroll down here, you'll see this is our standard uh, uh, format for the meeting agenda and we finish up with a little bit of a to-do uh, formatting there for things that come out of the meeting and, and assign them to whoever may need to address them. So that's how we begin each week and then uh, when we have the actual meeting we'll put in the, the day of the meeting and then I'll go down here let's say everyone is att in attendance I just highlight them all uh, click the check mark and that shows her here. Uh, if for some reason let's say Sydney was not there I'll uh, uncheck hers and then I'll uh, put a strike through there and so, again, different content throughout the document. But that is the, uh, the template that we use. So how do you use and create templates? Well, uh, to do that, you go into the Insert tab here. And off to the right, you'll see uh, Page Templates. By the way, I'm using um, OneNote version 2016 for the desktop. So if you have an earlier release or if you're using the online version or the uh, mobile app, uh, your interface is going to look a little bit different. All right, so you'll see we have page templates here. If I click the drop down, uh, what it does, it, it shows me a list of some of the uh, templates that are available, but I want to go right to the bottom of this list and choose page templates. When I do that, you'll see that it opens up the template panel off to the far right here. And uh, so you have uh, uh, categories of templates. Um, except for the My Templates category, these others are all pre-populated uh, from Microsoft when you install OneNote. And so th there's some good templates there you might find useful. Like if we click on the business and open that up, you'll see they have like a, a detailed meeting notes. So if I click on that, what it just did there is it added a new page uh, to this particular section of the notebook. And you can see on my page, list of pages here, I've got this one called meeting title. But notice how it's pre-formatted for uh, uh, the different content that we want to make sure is uh, available on a recurring basis uh, when we have this type of meeting. So let me uh, go ahead and delete that page. I don't need that page in my uh, presentation here, so we'll delete that out. There we go. Uh, so the way you would create your own template is you get it set up the way you want it to appear. So let me undo this uh, uh, here, uh, the um, crossing out of Sydney, and uh, actually let me undo the check mark. So we're back to kind of where I started. There we go. Uh, and just to show this is different, I'm going to go ahead and put in, uh, add a little something different at the top. I'm going to say. Uh, uh, video demo in the title and that's all I'm going to change just so that you can distinguish this from my, my uh, pre-existing template uh, I could spend more time to sh change other content but there's no point in doing that when I want to save this uh, page as a new template uh, then I simply in the lower right corner here of the template panel just click save current pages template and it'll ask me to give it a name so I'll just call it uh, uh, video demo keep it simple and then uh, that'll create the template but if I also want to make this the default template uh, for this particular section only okay that's an important point to know this when I click uh, set as default template for new pages in the current section and I save it 
then what that means is, uh, well, two things happen. If I go to my templates here, you'll see that I have a new one at the very bottom called Video Demo. All right, good enough, fair enough. Uh, but I'll just go ahead and close this panel out now, the template panel. And let's say I'm ready to add a new page to this document. I click the plus add page. And it's kind of subtle, you don't notice it right away, but you'll see that the, the new page came up and it had a video demo included in the title. So that's my new template. So every time I click add new page, then uh, it will automatically create a new page based upon uh, that template. So you can see the, uh, the value of that when you have a recurring meeting and you want to have a standardized set of uh, notes and formatting for the content that gets captured in the meetings, uh, this is, is the way to do it. So that's all there is to using the te template feature in uh, OneNote, and I hope you uh, enjoyed the, the uh, video. Thank you.